you to sit on the poly of polies. The Escape Pod. I'm Jez Bond. I'm Timmy Taco. And I'm Dan Oz. Welcome to Turnstile Records presents The Escape, Escape Pod. Pods. Oh, were we supposed to say that at the same time? Uh, we can do whatever you want. It's uh, your podcast as well as it's mine. And yeah. the listeners' podcast too. We do this mm. for you. For free. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's no other reason to do it. Um, my personal vote is for the old intro where Jiz- Jezbot really... Did you just call me Jizbot? I did. Um, <laughs> it's a funny, it funny, for you. funny how, thing. How Jez- dare you? Uh, came around to my place the other day and I told him, uh, told him to come out the front and stand underneath our mm. uh, ornamental crabapple tree that's in full blossom and looking, I might say, quite... Beautiful. Well, it was snowing uh, blossom, Dan. It was snowing blossom, but um, it gives off a peculiar aroma. Mm. Mm. <laughs> of? Jizz towel. <laughs> yeah. yeah what I, you say? <laughs> strong, strong essence of jizz. Pungent. Pungent well, yeah, jizz scent. Uh, it, yeah, I said, oh, jeez, it's beautiful, Dan. Have a look at the blossom. It's all fine. It's just like a winter wonderland, but in summer. He goes, just uh, go up and uh, have a big whiff of it. <laughs> I said, all right, tell me what you think it smells like. Yep. And, uh, geez, I inhaled that deep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, realised. Yeah. But it's a... It's a it's Instantly. A <laughs> unmistakable <laughs> scent. Okay. Like, it could be nothing else. For dudes, I guess. Unmistakable. For dudes. Okay. For men. For men. Manly men. <laughs> that know how to party. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So Good you time. were just saying earlier about um, people that, Use spoons. What what was what's, what gets you going? Uh, look, I'm not sure now that we've pressed record that I should be going into details because he might be, in fact, a listener. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So is this who's been using my toothbrush? It is. Okay. That's a segment. So we'll anyway, do. anyway, I, I don't want to say anything because you know it's a great, dude. Enjoy, enjoy spending lunch hours with him doing uh, the Herald Sun and the Age quiz. Okay, so uh, just to keep us, does, just to keep us, uh, um, our mental dexterity at peak performance. Mm-hmm. He's um, painting a picture. You got Tim. your Sudoku. You got your uh, Hagar the Horrible. Mm-hmm. You do. Um, you do. But um, don't forget the crossword, Tim. Mm, Ferret Tim. That's an unpopular favourite. <laughs> yeah. Wh- how many yeah. years? I know. Uh, do you know the name? It was a quiz question last week. Speaking mm-hmm. of the Phantom, the name of Phantom's horse. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I feel as though I do. Uh, it's not. It's not Tonto. Frank. It's not no. Mr. Ed. Frank Trevor. Nope. No. Uh, nope. Can I, Can I get a uh, Can I get a clue? It's not. Um. I d- ghost. Oh yeah. Is it ghost? I think it's just. He ghost. is the ghost. No, He's no. the ghost that walks. Or... But he does have a horse. <laughs> I got the quest crash, quiz question right last week, and now that I've brought it up again, I've. Yeah. Or oh, maybe maybe not his boss's name. What his name is when he's not Mr. Phantom. Mm. Oh no. As I said. Maybe next time you bring something up, <laughs> think it through. <laughs> Siri, what is the name of the Phantom's horse? Oh, a horse. I thought you said boss. Boss? <laughs> yeah. He has no boss. <laughs> That's what I thought. But he's a ghost that walks, so why has he got a horse? That's a good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> You'd think his sidekick would be a walking stick. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... But it's a ring. I mean, I did say that just like 25 seconds ago and obviously did not hear me. Are these cans on? Can you hear me? I don't know. Okay, because I just I had to say the joke twice. Did you? Before you laughed. Does that mean yeah. I have to edit the first nah, time? No, no, no. It's okay. just so for the listeners to, you know... They're, be annoyed they're, by it. They're aware. I'm sure. Well, Wikipedia is basically letting me down. I'm doing a quick scan and there is no mention of... Well, Dan, you're fired. That's two strikes so yeah. far, mate. you got yeah. one left, okay. so... Apologies. Uh, maybe he doesn't right. doesn't have a horse. Okay, well... Oh, no, I'm pretty sure he has a horse. I think it's white. And I think it's called Ghost. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Maybe Wikipedia. It. So what about this maybe, dude? Oh, uh, well... Uh, there, is still, there are a few things that really... Get under my skin, yeah. and mm. it's a, it's a classic. Who's been using my toothbrush? Scenario. Yeah, like like there are other things that have even more of a a uh, an instantaneous and physical effect on me, like people chomping on carrots while sitting at their desk. Uh, uh, oh yeah, doing the horse chew. You know the. 
Yeah. Well, whist- oh, whistling. So is there, have you got any whistlers in the office? Uh, if we did, it would probably brighten my mood. It'd make okay. me feel like I was working with Oompa Loompas or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, that's the uh, the dwarves. But oh, how do how do you how do you how do you feel about um, teeth contact with metal utensils? Oh, you mean like the teeth on uh, fork? Teeth on fork. Screech. Yeah. Or, or the uh, crunch. The crunch on the fork. Oh, like that. Yeah, oh, fuck, don't do that, man. <laughs> I hate that. Well, there you go. There's there's your answer from Jesbite. Okay. He okay. hates that. Well, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one. It You're not the only one. It's um, it affects me deeply. It must be yeah. difficult to be in that environment with in a in an office when you can barely live with your wives. Yeah, am I right, boys? Mm. Sure. Uh, your kids suck. And mm. then, uh, and you can, you know, you're supposed to love them. And you can barely live with them. So and then you got the spoon tooth guy. You got spoon tooth and whistling, Dick Dixie. Is that, is that kind of like? Because I don't, I'm not too familiar with the office scenarios. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's he's the spoon guy. He's the spoon guy. Do you like if but somebody he's, new he's, comes into the office? He's not like, the here ca- we go. He's not the carrot guy though. Mm. The carrot- oh, they're, car- they're two different dudes. No, well, it's a, it's a, it's a her. Ah. Oh. Mm. And you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's just looking after her eyes. The old carrots. That's uh, a propaganda, Tim. No. Find. <laughs> I, I, think, I think if there were studies conducted, you would find that productivity wanes at times when snackers, table snackers, desk snackers, if <laughs> <Yeah>. you will, <laughs> um, I will, are chomping on carrots. Uh, or, or celery is another, another really... Like, there's no subtle way to eat it. Right. Piece of it's celery. a bit much. Like, maybe donuts or yeah. breads. Or even, be, um, even apples, I think, yeah. are pushing the friendship a It'd little bit. It would be unfortunate yeah. if this was the sound you hated. <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. Ring, ring. This is my office sound tape. Yep. Is that the soundboard? Or that's, is that... a, that's the soundboard. It's called a uh, keyboard. All right. Um, Do we have a soundboard pretty... anymore? What's, what's happened oh, with yeah. that? It's always there. Oh, okay. All right. And um, if it's not there, hmm. well, don't forget to uh, hit a few buttons throughout the episode, Tim. Okay. Yeah, so the office living, it's, uh, it can be testy at times. Uh, it can be. It can be. Um, I'm convinced that some members of staff have got a personal vendetta against me. <laughs> okay, because uh, the, the carrot chick in nah, particular. Nah. Dan hates oh, carrots. That's what she does when yeah. she's um, peeling them in the morning. She's going, Dan's got fucking hate this <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine yeah. though it's nice sort of slipping into work over the last couple of weeks because the uh, the family's away they they have been away uh, a bit I've lonely been all on my lonesome made made doubly different by the fact that um, I had my kitchen completely mm. removed oh, so I can't I no can't kitchen. like I can't like ease the loneliness by like you know, comfort, comfort food. Yeah. yeah. Well, Which I, you can Uber it in. I you. have been flogging the Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> You've been flogging the Uber Eats guy. Or you could jazz <laughs> for food. <laughs> <laughs> you could jazz bot it in. I went over there and I took some snaggy, snuffies, uh, yeah. some okay. chicken bits, some chippies, some yeah. bread. What are you guys doing hanging out? Uh... uh... <laughs> Well, there was this know. idea of well, um, playing basketball. Yeah. Playing basketball? Yeah, well, Dan went yeah. to the... Dan I'm, did... I'm all, in, all inspired. I went and saw the Boomers defeat the US for the first time in, in history. First time the, uh, the US team's been beaten since 2004 or something. So, it was, uh, this was a piece of history in the making, mm. Mm. mind you. That didn't make the people who spent the fourteen hundred bucks on those shitty uh, tickets at Marvel Stadium. Did you hear the story? No. Oh, uh, this is Melbourne, ticket, my Melbourne. Tickets yeah. were extremely expensive. Uh, I was <laughs> I was hosting a delegation, so I uh, I had I had uh, courtesy courtesy tickets. Courtesy um, but the people who spent the money to go and sit on these uncomfortable little $5 Bunnings chairs <laughs> that were uh, uh, cable tied together oh. and pay, <laughs> pay in excess of in excess, $1,000 $1, oh. per ticket uh, to have an obscured view. Because if you can imagine the... A big post. Eight, eight, well, no, a football ground. Because it was yeah. at Marvel Stadium instead of at the... 
tennis centre. The real stadium. Yeah. 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 So you've got all this grass space where there are all these people just sitting on a flat surface. So anyone more than like a couple of rows back couldn't see shit. But oh. they were paying huge money to be courtside. So, so how to much? Fourteen hundred. So Fourteen hundred. You were saying. So I was front front row. I'll of just do the math. Level. How, how much? Level how many two, per minute? Yeah, yeah. How and, many dollars per minute? And there were fifty four thousand people there. Uh, but the tickets, the tickets we were comped, were valued at three hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, and you can't possibly sell them on to anyone and make money for that because someone will have to be Dan Vaughan in the box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, there was no, there was no sending those ones. How many on minutes at a basketball game there? Dan? Not that many. Just how many? Uh, for my reference. I, well, in international games, I think it was fifteen minute quarters. Oh God. So one hour, so 60, 60 minutes. Mm. You're talking boring. about uh, oh, 20, oh, basketball. Sorry. Yeah, no, I mean not uh, boring. Gr- greatest game in the universe. At uh, the 1400 mark for the ticket, it's uh, $23 per minute of basketball. <laughs> mm. And or to make matters... Would you pay it? You did the math. <laughs> did yeah, the but math. to make matters each, even worse, uh, they were originally marketing uh, the the game to be full of US all-star basketballers like mm. the like the Harlem Globetrotters of yeah, real like, life players yeah mm-hmm. like yeah. Le- LeBron James and uh, all of the you know the Michael Old Jordans dudes. of this this era mm-hmm. uh, were meant to be playing and yes people would happily go and spend a thousand bucks to see these guys play because sure. these guys mm. are best you of the know, best the best yeah. of the best of the best but in, instead but- all of them pulled out including our um our Aussie Ben Simmons, uh, because he's now just signed a two hundred and thirty-two million dollar uh, contract to. Okay, oh, yeah. that's all I heard. Okay, cool. Um, you don't yeah, want to yeah, <laughs> lost me at uh, Boomers. You don't want to do your ankle okay. when you've got two hundred and thirty-three. No, million you don't. Tomorrow. But uh, a lot of people really. were mm. pretty pissed off. Mm. And so America brought the B team. The B team. And they fucking lost. And so they fucking that, lost. Can we chalk that up as a win? When you still, say they bought the B team. Fucking oath we can. Was that, uh, they well, all the form. the Kobe Bryans and the Brynans. Uh, all Bry- the All Stars. I don't know what his name is. Didn't said no. Nah, all the not stars. Yeah, can't be fucked. So they got a mm. second tier NBA squad. And okay, and that's uh, represent representing the uh, the state of America at the moment. All the fifty one states. There's just no pride Four over more. there anymore. Come on, 51? play for your I bloody don't. team. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> play for your bloody, play for your bloody team. Play for your bloody country. Ah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. they don't give a shit. They've got multi million dollar contracts. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I want one of them. That'd yeah, so do one. I. But you have to play in basketball. Well, you don't have to. You, you can sit on the bench. I don't yeah. know how to. Does that help me? <laughs> no, you, <laughs> you could become a all. superstar DJ. How many balls do they have going at any one given time? Oh, there's one ball on court. Oh, right. It's not multi-ball. I, oh, okay. Well, it depends if you're factoring in the jiggling between each player's legs. Well, because well, it's like when you go to basketball and you get there and there's 21. like... 21. And there's like five guys on the court and they're all bouncing balls and taking shots. Is that part of the game? No, or is that just, just the warm-up? Well, oh, right. Well, I suppose warm-up's part of the game. So, so multiple balls. I'm just I'm hoping if those balls are jingling around, as you said, Dan, that uh, they're wearing some sort of uh, boxer brief or jock. That's uh, that would hold a testis- I testicular think cancer kind of, is a problem. That kind of sporting uh, event really requires a little bit of added support. I wouldn't go jingling around. I no, mean, wouldn't you know. uh, like? Wouldn't you think that that would be the first natural product that a basketball would endorse? So you got Jordan has got the Jordans, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, right, basketball boot. But surely somebody should have come out with like a uh, a drunk. Um, yeah, hopefully his surname's j- Jockey, and then there's the can cross, because yeah. Jordan's came up with like, Jordan. Like um, oh, Cock Hammock or something, <laughs> you know? And then yes. that becomes a popular thing, and hip-hop yes. could take it on, and everybody's wearing their uh, hammocks. There is one There is one thing about the uh, Cock Hammock mm. um, that I've, I've noticed with uh, my um, juice group. Hammock. Uh, <laughs> a bit of shrinkage during the sports. A bit, oh, yeah. bit of recoil, I yeah. would say. <laughs> okay. So... This jingling about business that Dan is speaking of. Is it as serious as I don't think Dan's so. I think <laughs> condition? <laughs> just, just localised to Dan's I think Dan perhaps. hips. Elephantitis nuts that everyone's been talking about. No one's been... Uh, uh, sucking on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, that's enough of basketballs. <laughs> sure. uh, we had to get there at some stage. But it was a good night. A free uh, night. Yep. 
So we wanted to play basketball. <laughs> he was fired. He was fired up. He was fired. Uh, yeah, you can and then, do it. I'm just giving you a hard time. Mm. So instead of going to the basketball courts and all that mm. business, we just we were shooting hoops in Dan's little backyard court. Yep. And we found we couldn't really sink do any it any hoops. <laughs> <laughs> I went went for a layup, and my um, my foot didn't leave the ground. No, the oh, ground. really? Oh yeah, because that's why I always thought I could ollie, but then I um. Realised I wasn't getting yeah. off the ground at all. It's just yeah. like a... Gravity's really heavy. It, quite, it is, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? This age, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's all the gravity, isn't it? I just remember oh, being able to fly through the air. Yeah. Like a Jordan. Soaring like an eagle. Like a bloody... Mm. It was <laughs> just, just a magnificent <laughs> sensation. Not a sight to behold. But uh, yeah, there's talk of starting the, getting the band back together, yeah. starting another team. Yeah. But I just... I don't know, Dan. No, I like it. I still like the idea because now that we qualify for like an over 35s or an over 40s comp, mm. it means that no one else can jump either. So yeah. it's uh, equalised. We could be the broken back boys. Yeah, uh, yeah, broad, broad balls. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> broke back ball. probably um, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> conjures up different meanings. Well, it yeah, sure does. Yeah, <laughs> our first basketball team was um, I want to say Trippy Taka. Mm. Trippy Taka was one of them. Um, uh, var- varicose veins. Yeah, was what the, was that about? <laughs> was, this is, these aren't bands. These are just teams. That was our basketball team. Very hard to barrack. For the veins. Varagus veins. Varagus veins. V. V. I don't know who came up with that name, but it was, it was stupid. No, it wasn't. Oh, it had Varagus veins. One of you boys. I came up with Trippy Tucker, Trippy which Tucker's I was right. very I was very proud of, but yep. um, mm. Varagus veins was not me. Okay. All right. It, it just makes no sense. It doesn't. Because we were young and we didn't have varicose veins. No, we didn't. How are your uh, varicose? You got to... Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Um... um Chip shape at the moment. I know that runs in our family. Do you get somewhere. them from uh, sitting or standing? I think it's working extremely hard standing up for forty years. Mm. Okay, yeah, because I've I've got a little theme emerging oh, yeah. here. It's all about sitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're sitting. Okay, yeah. that's good. <clears throat> do you yep. like Do you like sitting? Um, yes, but I wouldn't do it competitively. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like these gentlemen. Um, and um, basically, it's it's split into different things. There are competitions where um, it's it's who can sit for the longest amount of time before you're so mm-hmm. fucking bored that mm-hmm. you fucking win or whatever. Mm. Sounds um, like riveting it's, television. <laughs> it's it's more of a Guinness Book of Records situation uh-huh. where um, a man spends almost five days sitting on a toilet bowl mm-hmm. to set a world record. Um, he's, pulled a, he's pulled a um, lethal weapon murder, part deuce. Oh, yeah, that's he's it. Stuck on there. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> you jump into the um, the bath, right? That's right, yeah. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this guy, Jimmy, we'll call him, from Belgium, recently set a new record for longest spent longest time spent sitting on a toilet after spending five days on a toilet bowl in a bar. That's uh, a, a bet. Bar. I don't know if it's a bet. Let's run on. After breaking the world record for the longest time, spent ironing <laughs> non-stop 82 hours in 2016. Hmm. So he must be going for those like, what's something that everybody does? Uh, ironing breaks the record for constant ironing. Now, do you have to be ironing shirts or T-shirts or you can just iron the iron you just, board? You're just going, oh, yeah, okay. So you while, just got an iron and an ironing board and you're just going back and forth for 82 hours? I is think that part I'm, of putting the iron back up while you set the next one up is part of ironing. Yeah. I was um, I was actually ironing, speaking of ironing, last <laughs> night. Uh, <laughs> I had a... Uh, iron. I, uh, iron. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, yeah. I uh, I had a whole collection, like a week's worth of shirts that needed ironing. Mm-hmm. I got two in and went, you know what? I need a wife. No, I'd fuck this, yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, How I, dare you, Tim? I put the iron away and <laughs> went, maybe I'll I'll look to All outsource right. this tomorrow. I was going to say, <laughs> p- let's pitch it, let's pitch it. Yeah. Uber irons. Iron Uber. Oh, I think Airtasker's iron... probably got, got that covered. Who's it? Airtasker. Airtasker. Air so can you go on Airtasker as the Iron Man? And so you call him up and yeah. you go, Iron Man, and then you go, here I come. And then you get a rat-tat-tat from Disney saying, uh, <laughs> we own Marvel and well, Iron yeah. Man is part of the Marvel Stadium mm-hmm. franchise. 
Um, so Jimmy's Jimmy's sitting on the toilet. I don't know if the rule was that he has to be using it for the most amount of time. Like that's the longest piss I ever had because I know I got up in the middle of the night the, the other night and yeah. pissed longer than I ever have. Right? Do you know that's one of my ambitions in life is to be able to dissolve one of those piss blocks in the bottom of the urinal a Do urinal still cake use them? Uh, in one go. I just I've always wanted to be able <laughs> yeah, to do, do it. Do you know what we need to do? We need to work out what the stock urinal. Um, Curic size ah, is yeah, right? standard. If, standard and then replace it with a bath those, bomb there's some of those we're talking like uh, real real cakes yep would you <laughs> would you train up for the cake piss like uh, you'd be drinking a lot more acidic you try to get your, your bladder to be now, a bit you more want to be acidic hard, water. I've, hard I've been cursed hard. I've been <laughs> cursed by a pea sized bladder so I think my only chance at success is increasing the velocity that it actually leaves my uh, thus penis right <laughs> <laughs> Jesus can't yeah, we say can't call we, it now can't we say something classy like <laughs> cock or <laughs> Yeah. Wang. Yeah. Wang. Why are you going to go penis? <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, You're right there. Got a cough button. You had, to get off, uh, you had to get off the toilet after 116 hours because you just couldn't take it anymore. Mm. Mm. That was it. I guess that was um, his varicose veins for playing up. Oh, yeah, I guess. Getting yeah, into yeah, that yeah. deep vein what do you call it? What's the um, What's the <laughs> ass balls? Uh, uh, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had hemorrhoids dri- dropping down See, so that's far that were shocking. Shocking case of ass balls. <laughs> this is what I wanted you to do with penis. Something like uh, s- snake. Oh, God, uh, I, can't, I can't think. Okay. I can't mm. think. I can't think of one original name for a um, John, Johnson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the other. So what happens? <clears throat> Excuse me. Does he get to? Stand up every eight hours so he doesn't get deep vein from both. No, no, both. no. It's how long he can s- stand it for. Because uh, I know there's another competition where it's um, who could uh, sit on an ice block for the longest. Well, that's not good. But just take a take a moment to consider the poor Guinness Book of Records um, yeah, ad- adjudicator. Some, adjudicator. Cause fucking hours those days. 110 hours watching a guy sitting on a can... Doing, oh, what are you going to talk about? Doing periodic shits. It would just yeah. be now, just be terrible. Now, let's what's where, who comes up with the rules? It's like okay, it's got to be pants down. You got to have a newspaper up. You can't put the newspaper down. It's got to be one of these jobbies. Yeah, you know, like a yeah. classic. Um, Rest, resting pose. So yeah, your yeah, elbow. Yeah, you know, elbows. Twenties kind of toilet man. Well, paint a picture because no one can see you, Tim. Okay, I'm holding a newspaper up with my two hands. I'm sitting. My naked legs are coming out from underneath the newspaper. Elbows resting on knees. Elbows resting on knees. And I'm sitting. My pants are down to my ankles, as you Mm -hmm. can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Hair on the legs. A couple of hairs. And... I feel, it, I, feel as though, I feel as though the elbows on knees mm. are going to be the first thing that takes you out. Oh, right. You just, reckon go, just going through it. Uh, two big red. Mm. After eight hours, you're starting to, your kneecaps are starting to get uh, yeah. very red. Yeah, and now the high-risk manoeuvre is the um, periodic courtesy flush because if your butt cheek uh, has temporary departure from the seat, mm. is it still a valid... Um, no, I reckon, I reckon uh, Bobby from... Um, Guinness Book of Records is there with a um, with a thing that every time it flushes, he sort of puts the ruler underneath Jimmy's butt to see right, if sure. it goes all the way through to make sure he's not yeah. lifted. Yeah, if he lifts yeah. more than a ruler width, he's he's, he's off. Out. But I'd be if I was Jimmy, I would be like doing a courtesy flush and sitting just to get that good uh, bidet feel. Or has he got oh. a? He may have a can of vaporizer uh, <laughs> handy. <laughs> he's in a bar though, so. Oh man, there's there's a there's there's oh, some so the, serious logistics going on there. Mm. The bar guy's got to keep the bar open. Mm. True. Mm. So the toilets at the bar, like it's not in the toilets at the bar. That he's actually sitting on a stage somewhere. Perform. It's our okay. performance. Uh, perform, okay. Performance can we, art. Okay. Can we do a little search on the internet that finds out if the Guinness Book of Record guys get paid? They must. Or are they volunteer? I don't, I don't think, think so. it's a volunteer organization. How would you pay someone? <laughs> 116 hours. Oh, the overtime. I mean, you pay him, of course, because yep. book sales, of course. I mean, can we split the adjudication into like quarters groups? Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Shifts. I did see. I did uh, see the other day. Good point. Good point. You, you know, right? Yeah. 
I did see the other day uh, there was some donut in Melbourne. Donut. Uh, how many donuts on a wall record? It was for cancer or something like that. I don't donuts know. Donuts on a wall? Yeah, it was just like a big wall and there were, it was full of donuts. and he, Edible ones. Edible donuts, Tim. And uh, there was the adjudicator there and there was a good, good couple of thousand and he had his little counter. Okay. And he was with, with his eyeball on it. But what happens when you get up to the yellow, fifth row down, 60th donut, you're at yellow. You start grid, to see, you're at, you start to see triple, triple yellow lines. You're at grid D, 19, yellow. And yep. then you just go, do you say, oh. oh lost count. Lost count. Or, <laughs> or I reckon there'd be a couple of faux clicks in there. A couple of fakies. You don't have to be. Um, I think you would designate that the donuts needed to be delivered in boxes of 10. Okay. <laughs> right. And you could just count count the boxes. Count the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is why uh, this is why he wears shirts to work. Uh, he's, uh, oh yeah, cuz he's a special ideas kind of guy. He is. Yeah. He is. You know yeah. that there's a thing in America you can buy stacks of money. So you're doing film clips and you're doing <clears throat> drive-bys and you want to show off to people and you want to look like that money. Uh, you can now buy stacks, stacks of cash that looks, oh. looks like cash. Making it rain. Yeah. It's fake. That's right. So all those film clips were like, I'm making money. I'm making, <laughs> making money. Whatever the, the rap track is, <sighs> it's all big um, stacks of printed stuff that you can just order in. Turns Touch out- my elbow or touch it like <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out none of those dudes have any money. No, they don't. Mm. All their uh, chains and stuff are leased. Okay. Yeah. How terrible. Uh, quite terrible, I'd mm. say. Um, I will do the uh, Netflix recommendation, uh, Evolution of Hip Hop. Just do yourselves a favor. Go and yeah. check that out if you're into Get on hip-hop. board. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. I don't usually like to do re- recommendations, Dan, but... Don't you? No, I've uh, gone against it. Why should I be the walking billboard for Netflix? Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be Netflix. It could yeah, be, well, you don't have to. It could be uh, flippity sticks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, flippity flicks. It's hard to give a recommendation to the punters when you say, "Oh, watch the evolution of, of hip hop on." Oh, when everyone's flip- already watched it, flippity dicks, and they say, "What the <laughs> fuck is flippity dicks?" I'm going to have to go on the internet and look up flippity dicks. <laughs> Do not Do that. look up flippity dicks. <laughs> Just a warning. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so, just on the uh, just on the sitting sitting thing in particular, sitting on a pole, mm. uh, there's another competition where, ironically, men are sitting on a pole. Um, That's a classic pole pole, as, pole sitting competition. But you the think? poles, uh, <laughs> yes, your classic pole sitting. I think it's a old school one, isn't it? Like 30s or 40s. Yeah, they've got them out on a pole. Um, and, it sounds like Survivor. Uh, kind of is. They're out on a lake, and the poles on the lake, and they're mm. sitting on the pole. It's like one of those wooden poles, and they're just mm. like, it just fits around your butt. Okay. So you can't be a large bloke because you'll that would be going over your center of gravity areas. Yeah. Um, but they sit under the water, and, and it's whoever can last, then you end up in the um, ice, ice baby. Ah. Ice cold. Ah, oh, that's your. Uh, that's that's what you do when you give up. You got to jump into that. So that's your motivation to stay on the pole. Yeah, see, see, it's like a, uh, ooh, eh. Uh. Do I really want to go in the icy cold water? The only I, way down is to make, only way down dry is to make it to the last guy. I have actually but been the only watching... Way, the so, only way down is actually first go up. Anyway. I have actually been watching Survivor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's another one of those... Um, Fake shows. Those, yeah, guilty little pleasures. Okay. I like the... Backstabbing and conniving and and scheming reminds mm. reminds you of the podcast. Ah, oh, well, something like that. Yep. Um, but um, yeah, the whole challenges thing sort of gives me the shits. But back at camp where they're planning and conniving, it's they're hating it's, each other. Yeah, it's yep. qu- quality television. I uh, I visited the original uh, Survivor Island in Rawatonga. Okay, did you Cook Islands? Yeah, it is smaller than you think. Okay. A lot smaller. How many... Okay, it's smaller than you think. How many hotels are on it? Uh, zero. Really? The island, oh, the Survivor yeah. Island, is about, let's say, four... Let's say four houses yeah. long, maximum. That small? That small. 
No, maybe, like t- maybe the original oh, oh, was, mean. but uh, this latest season's in Fiji. Very long, sandy beaches with beautiful coconut palms coming out. It's, uh, <coughs> so it's a light, right? Yeah, it's just magnificent. Mm. Mm. Everybody gets thinner and angrier. Yeah, yeah, what's with the chick with the boost juice chick, right? Yeah, oh, she's sponsorship, Jeremy. But she was no, she's no. wearing a boost juice hat, no, no. boost juice scarf. She, she was in there as a champion, a champion of industry, someone that's really made it. I get it. I get it. But I don't. Why would she do that? Why not? Why would she? Why not? To survive, bruh. Because she seems like a bitch now, and she looked terrible. Uh, no. No, it's she like, was, why would you do that to your brand? She, you look she, like a mole now. Everyone needs to adopt a position I within the tribe. Anyway. And she automatically sort of gravitated to a leadership type juice. of type of role. And the problem with Survivor that's different from real life is that leaders are respected in real life, but shat on in Survivor. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's, a the take, cut? that's a takeaway for next time. She made it to about <laughs> sixth place yeah, you see they're down to th- they're you, down to three now do you know what you're gonna do you're gonna cut those tall poppies down yep yep and it happens every time and she should have been aware of this and so should you watching that knowing that it's a formula and it happens every time mm, who <laughs> usually wins way. that how, how would you play it Danos? uh the guy who was favorite to win was voted out last night Right. Would you go under the radar or would you be scammy, scam, scam? Uh, I, I would, be... would be scammy, scam, scam. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. I think Dan would get kicked out for yeah. um, spending too much time talking about uh, the girls should get naked. About his and, penis. Uh, su- it's, it's easier to survive without clothes on, allegedly. Walking around with those I think ass that's... balls. Is that what you call them? <laughs> get, get your ass balls out. Dan, uh, you're off the show. Okay. The only problem is it goes to committee at the end, doesn't it? You win by voting. Yeah. So, so you have you to can't no, piss no. anyone off. No, no. If, if you have played a, a cunning and mischievous game and executed expertly, like I would, um, <laughs> people respect that and then you get the points. Okay. okay. You know, yeah. If you're, no oh, I'm so nice. Um, you're not going to win if you've got it. No, the secret is you've got to have a good backstory. Oh, my, ah, yes. my brother's dying of cancer, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. yeah. If you got one of them, you're you're halfway home. I was bullied as, as a kid. I can. Mm. You could just make him. I don't know. All you could. these people. This, yeah, everyone's but remember, got a story, but look, remember, there was I don't a villain. Think got a story. No, there was a villain on Survivor about oh, close on ten years ago. And I can't remember yeah, Johnny, his name. Johnny, Johnny uh, Rockets. Johnny, 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 uh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Rod. Nice Johnny. Johnny. Johnny his Johnny name Smiles. Was John, his name was Johnny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah and he yeah. he faked being told that his grandmother had died <laughs> on the show. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, for a sympathy vote, and what well, um, did somebody call it in? And I had to tell him. Yeah, he when he it's uh, late in the game, they get their a relative to come out and visit them, yeah. and he'd already teed it up with his relative. Tell me that my grandma's dead, and I'll like put on a big sob story, and we'll use it as leverage. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so how can that oh, be? Oh, how wait, can wait, that wait. be bad? Johnny Fairplay. Johnny Fairplay. That's it. He didn't fair play that. Uh, one. He already set it up. Fair play. Didn't... I'm a fair player. Over. Well, you, it right from look, the look, this is this. This was like this was his good. opportunity at fifteen minutes, and I'll tell you what, he's one of the few survivors that we all remember, isn't he? I remembered Johnny Fairplay. Johnny, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> it was Just Johnny Memorable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, remember me, please. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, I actually, I've got a little story. Um, was well, speaking of traveling to islands. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you'd have to catch a plane. Okay, yes. And that coincides, or is a good segue, or a uh, segue. Yeah. Mm, segue. Yeah. No, uh. <laughs> uh, I was driving to Sunbury a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. visit some friends, mm-hmm. and uh, went past that uh, the car park just on uh, at their Talmarine, one of the international uh, landing strips. Mm-hmm. You obviously can uh, plane watch. Yep. So there's this like car park. Are they plane watching or are they just waiting for their um, friends that are catching a flight 
to land so they don't have to pay 500 bucks for parking. No, 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 no. Oh, right. So they're like, meet us at the fence, 7Ks yeah. from you know, the there's... <laughs> terminal. No, no, there's signs all along the Tullamarine Freeway saying, do not park here. Yeah. This is no parking, blah, I blah, think blah, it's, blah. I think it's probably because of these uh, train uh, plane spotters. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so these guys, it's, a, it's a designated area to spot. Mm. So you want, what you want to do is... It, there's a food truck there, Tim Sims. Yep. It's all there. It's all set up. It's all bright and light. And yep. when those big, uh, what do you want to call them? The Airbuses. Planes. Mm-hmm. Planes, yep. Aeroplanes. <laughs> yep. Uh, come down on that uh, very low. You're, you're like Wayne's World. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting on your bonnet and you're, mm-hmm. you know, talking to... Talking Kiss your mother with that mouth. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you van a doctor to pull it out. <laughs> and you're out there dogging, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> dogging? Yeah. Dogging? Yeah. yeah. Dogging. You don't know dogging? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, look that one up. <laughs> tell us more about dogging. Yeah, it's us? a. It's they're swinging. Okay. Surely oh, they're out okay. there to plane dogging. watch. So dogging. Okay. So yeah, it's up there yeah. with the with the train. Is, that, is spot. that a derogatory way to refer to? No, no. It's uh, just a dogging a practice that people get into, and it's uh, get, so get dogging out, is to made swinging. Up a, as... Meet up in a car park. And uh, have sex with my wife or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what these dudes are doing, okay. right? So, Randoms. All right. Cool. So swinging, and I'm pretty sure that's what's happening in this car park with Tim okay. Sims. Hmm. Well, here's hmm. the thing: um, burns a lot of calories. Yeah, but it's also high on cabbage, which I think promotes <laughs> flatulence. Mm. Right. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, right. <laughs> okay. Look, they're just probably dudes watching the plane land. I get it. Whatever. But it was Saturday night, it was pitch black, it was freezing cold, and it was piercing down rain. Piercing down with piercing rain. Piercing down, I had to pull over. I was freaking out driving uh, my wife's car, which we have to upgrade your mugs. Mm-hmm. It's just not safe enough. Yep. I need some more bells and whistles. You need a Hummer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, we all need a Hummer. You can go to this car park and get a Hummer, Tim. Can you? Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, I don't get it. Okay, because so so um, planes watching, mm. trains spotting, yes, boat, uh, uh, <laughs> boat, boat, collecting, uh, 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 boat, boat noting, Bo- boat noting, <laughs> yeah, you note all the boats that you see. Mm. It's like bird watching, but for boats. <laughs> And also for planes. Dan, save us, for God's sakes. Uh, Well, Ratty from Wind in the Willows used to affectionately like to say, messing about in boats. Messing about in boats. Messing about in boats. So, boat messing. Hmm. Which is also like the dogging thing. Dogging thing. (laughs) (laughs) But that's all I got on the planes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was just Um, just just going through my scrap piece of paper with my notes. It takes a certain kind of person. I I think there would be um, a one-time thrill in having a plane come pretty low. Yeah, it's a pre- it's, a one time. It's pretty exciting. Don't know there's rain there's actually a um mm. there's an island in I'm going to say The Stream? No, I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to say the Grenadines. Okay. Saint, Sounds like a type of apple. St. Barts yeah. or something. Mm. Uh where the end of the runway is right up against the beach. Oh, and yeah, what yeah. everyone does is they just stand up against this fence and every there's signs everywhere going don't, don't stand, stand here on, don't stand because near this is this is a seven four seven taking off and it's it's windy. Also, and yeah. they toxic, just, toxic, yeah. Um, well, coming out of the turbine, that's not burning. Oh, there's no, probably, yeah, no that's yeah. just fans. Yeah, so it's right. just air. Um, and um, they get poleaxed. It is a sight to it behold. It blows them away, doesn't yeah. it? They're, they're hanging onto the fence yeah. and then they. How much of that uh, sand on the beach needs to be replaced every once in a while because of the old planes <laughs> shifting all the sand? Some everywhere. of these European yeah. uh, beaches in inverted oh, commas. Yeah, it's, are stones. it's Pebble Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes. But uh, I think... Um, That's be better quite, than a plane watching, I would say. Quite, that quite sounds fun. like quite a, quite a nice a holiday on the beach. Yeah. Not uh, standing in the rain on the side of the freeway to Sunbury. To swap wives. <laughs> to do to doggo and, and eat dim sims. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tim Sims. Yeah, that's right. It's good yeah. to see that the uh, the food the food van guys are always looking for an opportunity anywhere to park. Right. Yeah, aren't they? Yep. Yep. I'm good on them. 
I'm into it, man. Mm. What do you reckon it was? What what type of food? What's, uh, What's plain appropriate? Co- well, hot coffee. You want some suvers going? You know, bag soup. Suvers or maybe hot chips. Ch- hot jam hot donuts. Chips. Yeah, hot jam, jam donuts. donuts. I like mm. a hot jam donut. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a snacky type of occasion. Watching yeah, watching like, planes. Yeah, you just come there, yeah. watch plane. You don't nibble. you don't come for a meal. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Three course, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> this soup lucky tastes like diesel. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if you're if you're out that way, uh, I might pull over next time and just yeah. if they're all there, I'm like, oh, I'll ask a question. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll take the zoom out there and we'll. Uh, I do think some research. I, I, <laughs> I think the whole the whole getting uh, objects as big as uh, A380 Airbuses into the ground is quite quite a Quite no, no, an no, achievement. No. Onto the ground, not yeah, but, into the yeah, ground. You, can, <laughs> you want to land it on oh, the ground. Yeah, on the ground, not, not in into the ground. the ground. Did I say into the ground? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit... A bit oh, a... I wanted to say off the ground. Off the ground, off yeah. The, yeah. I think oh. the landing yeah. is a bit more dangerous. Down. I think that's way more in landing than there is taking off, to be honest. Uh, yeah, don't know, can't confirm nor deny, but <laughs> I still think it's quite amazing that these things can get in the air. Takeoff seems easy, right? Point it that way when you hit 99 gigawatts... You start pulling up, pulling, pulling on the stick. Yeah, but in the stick, and in then the, we're off, mate. In that period, that space of time, they need to accelerate to something like seven hundred kilometers an mm. hour. Like we, how how fast <laughs> does it feel when you're travelling at one hundred and twenty? So yeah, too, too fast. fast. Too fast. <laughs> sorry, yeah. when, we're, when we're on the driveway and they're... Or the runway, sorry. Yeah. And they're, and then we're firing up. We're yep. firing up. Do they hit seven hundred k's there? Mm. Do they really? Yeah. It doesn't really feel like that, does no, it? No, it doesn't. No. But I think size, the size sort of... Size uh, does dis- matter. ...distorts the, yeah. the sensation it's of speed. It's a big speed. runway. Because if it was the size of a, like a, like a Mini Cooper... Going, uh, fucking slow down. <laughs> slow down, I'm going to die. Yeah. We're going to fucking take off. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> it's the future. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, yeah, if you had... If you had uh, you know, traffic cones lined up or along that r- runway. When you do hit seven seven fifty k's, mm. it would be just be a blur. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good o. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Plain talk with Jizzbot. <laughs> Plain talk with Jizzbot. Oh, you want another? You want a? I saw. It's coming back from the uh, Mornington Peninsula. Yeah. I was down um, Tyab Road, let's just say. Okay. Painting a picture. Mm-hmm. Um, like a 13. No, it was probably about 12-year-old boy hitchhiking. Mm. Hitching. Hitching. Mm. And he was going... a hitchhiker for a long time. He was going yeah. the other Con- way. Country folk. He's was, going back going back to Tyab. He was going back to Tyab. <laughs> and yep. so I... He was hitching. So I went, this, this kid's young. Yeah. I better pull over. <laughs> right. So I pulled over and I'm like, hey, dude. Hashtag what the fuck are you what, doing? What are you doing? No one no one hitchhikes anymore, man. Where are you going? Oh, oh, can you give us a lift to Frankston? I said, well, no, I'm not going to Frankston. And he wasn't even heading in the... He was walking the wrong direction. He was walking the wrong direction. And he didn't seem quite right. I'm like, are you all right, man? Like, where, where are you going? Frankston, I've got to go, go pick up my mum from hospital. And I said, no, well, well, how are you going to, you going to hitch her back? <laughs> I don't know what his plan was, man. Mm. But, um, so I threw him in the ute and, uh, we've never seen or heard of him ever again. No, I just, he's like stuck his head in the window and he's like, you got any ciggies? Got, got any, mo- any ciggies? Got any money? I'm like, dude, I don't have any ciggies. I don't, I don't carry coins. So he did the, he did the whole, have you so got he- any ciggies? Got any coins? Oh, can I have some money and a lift to pick up my sick mum from the hospital? <laughs> yes. He paid all of the cons, all street the cons on you. <laughs> mm. uh, I think, uh, so oh, you drove off. I drove off. I went, dude, just don't, don't hitchhike. Yeah, and, and dude, get some Tic Tacs. Get some Tic Tacs and get a get a phone, you mug. Get a car, you mug. Mm. Jesus. Get a phone account. Yeah, and and, uh, a year. and don't recommend vaping instead of ciggies because now everyone seems to be mysteriously dying of this 
strange lung disease. Yeah, popcorn lung or something mm. like what that. What is that? Mm. What is that? All of the, the berry-flavoured uh, vape juice that you can <laughs> buy. That, to... that we all predicted was poisonous. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. Right. Turns out that it is, in fact, deadly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, who did thunk it? <laughs> yeah, those uh, Puff the Magic Dragons walking around the city, they're just puffing that. Competitive fucking puffing. <laughs> 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 it comes out like um, uh, who's the guy out of Lord of the Rings? The wizard, wizard sleeve. He's yeah, always Gandalf. Puffing. He's always puffing on his yeah. pipe. Yeah, he's always yeah. And, and you can smell it. It's like we were in that in the building the other day, dude. And I was like, where's yeah. the uh, where's that cherry vape coming from? And it yeah. stays in the air, and it's, it's delicious. Oh, mm. it's, there's nothing wrong with it. No, it's just like what is it? It's not. It's not smoke. It's it's like it's like vapor. Yeah. Well, what's vapor made out of? You know, like water particles. Well, why is there water on my lungs? <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, it's it's not a good look. What I, is it? It's water vapor. I it guess. is water vapor. Well, is it water vapor or is it a chemical concoction vapor? I think that's what it is. Because it's got it's got <laughs> ingredients in it. It's not water. It's got nicotine in it. So it's so it's, it's got to be vaporized a... chemicals. Well, the tobacco companies have uh, bought them all out. So it's mm. the, the, the you know. Who knows what's in it? Mm. I like well, to stick are with we, it. Apparently. Are we still sponsored by Make a Vape? <laughs> Start a Vape. <laughs> Start a Vape, Vape kit. kit. Um, no, let's uh, uh, let's abandon that one. Yeah, that was early yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have the uh, we didn't have the science wasn't in yet, Dan. Yeah, well, uh, we all knew that that was going to be um, eventually what happens to the old vapes. Mm. Surely, look, I like to stick with me original drugs, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> heroin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to be doing bath salts. Stick no. with heroin. We know what heroin does. Yes. Right? It's for fuck you up slowly or really quickly over 20 years or like yeah. 20 minutes. You don't get crocodilla. No, like, let's Yeah, I don't go. think Yo Gabba Gabba is actually Epsom <laughs> salts. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's you a know. TV show. Uh, isn't Gabba bath salts? Ah, oh, man. I, I don't know all the street names. I'm yeah, not, I'm not hip. yeah, I'm down with the street names. I'm not hip lingo. Old, um, just but, the old regular bath. Salt. Is it? <laughs> it's not bath salt? salt. No, don't. Okay, just there was like... uh, there was a news article uh, last week about a major, um, a major drug, drug, um, drug bust. Mm-hmm. These uh, two dudes uh, had imported two big forty-gallon drums of this industrial solvent that is actually. Um, uh, GBH, GHB, GHB, the shit that goes into the little fish, soy sauces. Oh yeah. Um, apparently it's just some fucking industrial solvent. Like it's not even made. It's just some, Ooh. some chemical. And it was, it was like, awesome. holy. Is that what we've been putting on our soy sauce? sandwiches? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No, they just they just give it to you in a soy sauce thing. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like. He's closer to the street than we are, Jez. Oh, you get it in a Haven't soy you sauce seen, you, cab, If right. you watch the news, yeah. you, this all this can be picked up just by watching the just news. Don't, don't, don't watch, don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. No. It makes you too depressed. No. no just well, watch I, mash reruns. No, I like to listen to... <laughs> <laughs> depressing here. Uh, conspiracy stuff, <laughs> aliens. Like I listen mm, to... Uh, yeah, Dan, Ra- Radar's a spy. Dan Aykroyd on uh, bloody Joe Rogan today on the way home. Oh, okay. He's great. He's right into it. Dan sure Aykroyd. Is. Ooh. He loves a good... Uh, Conspiracy. Good U- U- UFO story. He's more of a UFO man. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He loves it. He loves okay. it. I'll give a big shout out to... Uh... <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, well, and and all the Ghostbusters for that matter. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's another one coming out. We know that. He's re- Are we ever going to see it? He's remaking I it. I saw a trailer of it. Ghostbusters? Not with the chicks? Like, not with the chicks. It's after that. In the same universe, is it without Igor? Mm. Igon. Yep. Igor. What's his name? Igor. Igor. Um, I um, I just because I love Bill Murray um, saw a zombie flick the other day because he was in it. Zombie Lane. called the no, called the Dead Don't Die. Uh, okay. uh, Recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> well, news review. Uh, Zombie Land Two is coming out. Yeah, so that'll, be zombie that'll be good. That'll be good. Zombie Land was yeah, good. Yeah, watch that again the other night. Mm. Do yourselves a favour. 
Mm. Your mugs. Yeah. That's another recommendation, Jeremy. I've been doing. Do you it notice a we bit. don't recommend things unless it's absolutely necessary? But Jeremy's like constantly telling us what to watch, but but also telling us I don't, don't make ask, recommendations. Don't tell me <laughs> what to watch. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. You know, it's that's, uh, that's okay. Um, George Orwell said that, didn't he? Like uh, an animal farm, something like that. Uh, so all, all pigs are created equal, except uh, all animals are, except for some are more equal than others. But it's, others are I don't not know. as equal as the <laughs> ones. I, I should probably read that book again. Yeah, because it's yeah. quite quite profound, Jeremy. <laughs> well done. Talk about reading books again. I've uh, got out and flat got, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> got out and got uh, my daughter a copy of 1984. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, should she be reading it? Yes. Uh, 100%. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, no, it's heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty dense. It's not. It's not a. It's not a. Um, it's not a Dan Brown style page turner. No, it's kind of a miserable read, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> from from word to word, that's what I remember from school. Uh, and the other thing is, more the, words, <laughs> more words. It's like another eight hundred pages of words. He, he's he's very good at painting a visual picture with words, almost to the point of going overboard. Okay, so it takes almost to the point of shut up. It's yeah. taking a long time to actually establish what the guy's doing. And he entered the room, and in the room there was four shells. Now, on each shelf was a different kind of item. Items that stood on the shelf. The brown shelf was <laughs> to the left. And on top of that shelf was another shelf. Mm. Mm, never it, read a book, so it's I don't know. It's dustier than the last shelf. Mm. Um, yeah, each word more miserable than the last. But yeah. uh, I think you give her, uh, give her the copy, say, have a crack at it. Yep. Uh, pick up what you, you can be putting down. And then, How old uh, is she now? She's 12 up. Yeah. She wants to be a writer, though. There's some pretty deep concepts in that. That's what I wanted book. to be drinking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we watched. Is that uh, a new cocktail? Uh, yeah. Deep, deep concepts. So have a yeah. shot of this. It's called The Matrix. Yeah. Ooh, she liked it. Okay, she got good. it. We did it. Mm, oh, you excellent. watched The Matrix? Um, have, a, have a sip of this. And it's uh, going to be Alien next. Uh-huh. She wants mm. to watch Alien. Cool, man. Yeah. Okay, very good. So. I'll be showing her that from a filmmaker's perspective, mm. not not as a like this. This is when they started to scare you with space. Yeah, and if you think uh, old movies uh, are crud, have a watch of this. Yeah, so I tell, think tell it's me you're called, not going to uh, the Wizard of Oz. Well, just tell, don't love it. Tell, <laughs> tell, me piece. tell me you're not going to get shit scared from Alien if it's um, made in 1978 or. You want to be uh, introducing your daughter to the wonderful world that is Penguin Classics. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 So I mean, hit me with a title. Well, you need something like To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird? To Kill oh, okay. a Mockingbird. <laughs> okay. That's another cocktail. No to Kill, <laughs> <in> to <laughs> kill a Mockingbird. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they get uh, a Mockingbird. I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> they <laughs> cut their head off. <laughs> they, they pickle it. They put it in the bottle somehow. We don't know how they get it in the mm. bottle. Mm. And then mm. you drink it like the toe, and then you've got to get the... Yeah, and there's another mm. classic of Ice and Man. Nick. Yeah. Or... Or... <laughs> or, or, or Moby's dick. <laughs> Big glass. Uh, uh, it actually has a penis in it. It's yeah, got milk it in it. Massive, <laughs> massive whale-sized dick. Yeah, because you do... You do we, it's we a yard, it's served in a yard glass. Uh-huh. There's yeah. that... Uh, what was the one we were talking about on the pod with the, with the toe? Uh, you drink my left toe. You drink the you drink that from the bottle, oh, and then you there's a bo- there's a toe in a bottle, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's a it's a part of this like uh, you know like drink a, a shot which has this dude's <laughs> toe. <laughs> basically that's the short story. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I, I think we should make up some more cocktail names from um, from books. books. From Penguin Classics. <laughs> <laughs> Give us another Penguin Classic. We'll adapt, uh, it. We'll adapt the story by Jezbot. What about... Um, uh, what can Great Expectations become? Um, great. Uh, what about... Yeah, hit us about, with an easy one. What about <laughs> Huckleberry Finn? Um, Huckleberry Finn. Gin. Sounds... Huckleberry Gin. Huckleberry, Huckleberry Gin. gin. <laughs> there you go. It's like it's got huckleberries. <laughs> In gin. <laughs> <laughs> They're floating. Uh, <laughs> Not squeezed. They just popped uh, in there. Uh, mm. uh, very good. Very good. Yeah, okay. So maybe some classic classic ones, yeah? Because yeah. I remember um, Of Mice and Man and, and The Crucible and whatnot being yep. not as thick as, as, as some. Thieves. 
Um, uh, and then other, if you want a little funny, humorous, uh, oh, here we go, humorous to your daddy, Paul Jennings books. Get on board. They're yeah, funny. It's one of the titles. Funny, unreal, or unbelievable, or mm. uncanny. Okay. They're just a collection of short stories. And like, read a story and not. Or unbelievably uncanny. They're funny. Do they okay. all have to okay. say start with un? Is that what he does? Like uncool. <laughs> Yeah. Don't, don't judge it. Unreadable. Un, don't judge it until you've read it. They're very good. Um, do, pass. Now, audiobooks. Is it, mm. Does it count as a read? Yeah. Mm. This is what I wanted to know. If I, like, I'm you not know, sure. Like, you, so, you can hear it and you know the story and you know every word in the book. And you're you imagining you, it. You, but you've heard it. You can never say, I read that. Um, I don't see why not. It's a you, slightly different way it. of absorbing it, but mm. I don't... Oh, I heard that one. I'm, I'm time poor when it comes to reading at night. Like, I will just fall asleep, forget it. I'm going to read one chapter. It'll take me six years. But you'll have a good podcast. Yeah, I'll listen to podcasts all day. And I can uh, make visual pictures in my, in my brain head. Mm. But, uh, yeah, the book thing, like, I would like to... I would like to go through all those Penguin qu- classics yep. and... And I'll listen to anything that Morgan Friedman uh, narrates. And, uh, what, uh, what is it? And, and Eve Ram. No, I'm not going to do this again. We <laughs> <laughs> walked through 500, 500 yards of shit. You would have rented all the poo. And then he got out. He climbed through and his the brain. He climbed through the picture of the of a crutch on the poster in his room. Yeah, that's the movie. Did? Yeah, that's the movie. Okay, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> I was talking about that. Is that Stephen King? No. No. That was uh, the the Green Mile was uh, somebody. No. Didn't somebody famous write the Green Mile? Uh, yeah, oh, no. Stephen King. Ah, oh, not Steven Spielberg? No. Yeah, I think it was Steven Spielberg. Maybe. No, Steven Spielberg made the movie. E.T. The Green Mile. The Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he didn't write it. He's not a writer. He's more of a doer. Okay. He's more of a maker. Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure that was. Uh, what's his head? Crazy King. cocaine guy, yes, do yeah. Mm, okay. Interesting. We, uh, you could look it up if you wanted, but uh, that? you could, you could, but yeah, you know, could. I'm the trivia king, yeah. so go fact yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been la- laying off this. I guess go fact yourself. There mm. you go. Reintroduce the old soundboard. Ah, uh, not a second too soon, Tim. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it's uh. Is it? I mean, with that hum, I mean, that sounds like the biggest wrap up ever. It was it an agreement hum. <laughs> oh, it was an agreement hum. Yeah, that's right. How are we looking for time? We're looking great, thanks, <clears throat> boss. Good. Yeah, I've got all the time in the world because I'm already home, as you can see. Yep. And Dan mm-hmm. doesn't have a family to go home to anymore. No. What, what, what are you going to Uber Eats when you get home? I'm going to Uber Eats around at mum and dad's. <laughs> she has made a, uh, a chickpea and roasted pumpkin casserole. Mm. And a uh, and a steak side. Mama's steak cooking side. Mm. side the steak sides and casseroles. Well, so. uh, you know, sirloin's quite small and humble in its in its proportions. Sure, but you can really lump on the uh, the chickpeas. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Did you, uh, over over rice. I'm not sure, but okay. I could let you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, could do. you, uh, you text that to me? Could you bring yeah. back my uh, fishing rods? Oh yeah, uh, yeah that from, brings us to yeah, the next yeah. point that yeah, Mason yeah. wants to yeah. fish. Do you know we um what we went that? away to the prom, Jesbot and I, what many months ago yeah, cu- now. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Many, many months ago. ago. Mm. Uh those two fishing rods are still sitting on the parcel shelf I, I in the back the of beach. the beach. <laughs> back of the car and have not moved. So I know where they are. So <laughs> still got bait in the hook? Possibly. Okay. Mm. Possibly. We got those rubber rubber baits. We yeah. didn't actually fish in Wilson's Prom, just so you, you know, because it is illegal there. Is it? And yeah. the only way we could have fit them on our packs was to strap them to the outside, which oh. is like a, a big neon sign saying, I'm about to infringe the rules of the <laughs> National Park. <laughs> <laughs> so you concealed them, which uh, we suggested just... that you were trying to hide we the didn't, fact that you were going to do that. We no. didn't. We didn't take them. We left them in the car. Roger that. Uh, yes, the the fishing trip. Where does that come from? You, just, you must have seen it on a TV, or he just wants to fish. He just thought of something that he's never done or never never really tried, and mm. thought, give that a go. Yep. Probably seen it on an app. I think something. we. Sh- I think we need to. Uh, 
sneak on a fish onto his it's rod. It's trout farm. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you that's sneak it. a fish on. That's it. That's you can't, it. it's like the water is like three inches and they're just like. <laughs> and every you time. Pretty much grab it. Every time he catches one, Tim's going, dope. Oh! There's another 40 bucks. Dope. Oh! Yeah, oh, what's, what's a trout it's, cost? I think it's a lot. She's a Melisa. Mm. I suppose if you go by the kilo, if you. Yeah. And I caught 17. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> that's what I'd be saying. Yeah. What the fuck? Yep. And then you smoke them, yeah? You can do whatever you smoke yeah. if you got them. <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I always see them on those survival shows. They're always smoking the fish in their, in their little uh, their, their humpy, their, what do they call them? Humpy? Is that it? I wanted to see what you were going to do then. <laughs> like deer uh, it seems like you do that every time. Yeah, yeah well, look, I, I mean, thought you were like, uh, didn't you have a It's the News? I sure do, but we're at the 60 minute mark. Okay. No, that's, Bye. I think everyone's had enough <laughs> right about now. <laughs> No, I, I should probably say in the Pfeffernos, um we are wrapping that. We are getting to the end. Like an hour is enough. We don't need to bore you any further. Yep. I've had a great time, by the way. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks for me coming too. down. Yeah, and, uh, it's been good to be with you. And also with you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we sh- it's been a little bit uh, light on for the podcast. You could call this you could call this our off season. Uh, well, one of the major things was that uh, the Optus account that I had uh, with Flippity Sticks <laughs> my internet they sent me a message saying uh, we're going to cut the internet off because we're going to do a full switch to MBN you can't get the whatchamacallit anymore cable so mm. so I let it go and let it go and let it go and then when I finally ordered the MBN from someone else um, there was they said yep yep no worries you can switch over uh, cancelled the Optus account and they said we'll be there in two and a half weeks to install it mm. So I've been without the internet. So has it helped? Uh, no, Getting pods no, up on me. It's been a nightmare. Thanks mm. for asking. Right. So it was. Uh, I was going to advise you to um, to claim that. claim expenses, lost lost earnings from Optus, but you've changed providers, which is how would you? Uh, which is hamstrung. That. You work from home. You cannot be without the internet. You have grounds for compensation. Commentation. What you do is, <laughs> what you do is, you give Dan all your passwords, and you get him to call up, and oh, yeah, you, you get. Go. I'm Vanessa. I'm Vanessa, <laughs> and uh, my yeah. husband Timo. Yeah, I, uh, I, I called Optus, my NBN provider, um, only last week, to uh, query a one hundred and forty far a forty dollar professional installation charge, what? and it was like. No, mate. I, I'm staying with you. You forced me into this change. I didn't ask you to install dick. Yeah. Uh, I'm not paying this 140 bucks. And he went, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it off. We'll, within one <laughs> second. <laughs> within one second. And I was like, you pricks. Yeah. You are just praying on... <clears throat> the lazy. The lazy. Yeah. And it's like, it's like um, people who put up premiums on, on uh, car insurance every year... And you don't ring up and you go, hmm, your premiums went up. Um, like uh, my bill went up to, uh, my and gas bill, 16%. Yeah, and within two mm. seconds, they've taken 300 bucks off. Ah, oh, you bloody yeah, bastards. you just got to gotta suck it up and uh, just, <coughs> just... Make the phone call. And make the phone call. Complaining. Well, you don't even have to Speaking be nasty real. about it. You just ask and they go, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yeah, so that's the Pfeffernos. That's why we've sort of been off the air. It's also Today like... Today on the show, we're going to make Pfeffernos. Got that. Pfeffernos. That was the end of the Pfeffernos. Okay. Yeah, they, we just haven't been on air. Uh, we're going to... We, we shall double our efforts. The pods will be coming in thick and fast. Mm. Now the, uh, and the spring, creamy. The spring has sprung, and uh, it's uh, more conducive to going outside after work, uh, coming to Timmy Taco's recording, getting some content out to you, the listener, mm. the loyal dear listener. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. So, on that note, <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks for listening. It's yeah. been Turnstile Records Presents the Escape Pods. I'm Timmy Taco. I'm Jezbot. And I'm Denos. Pressing the self-destruct button. The ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes and forty-five seconds. Follow you. One pod left. And three of us. Escape pod. Escape pod.
the escape pod. What if there are droids in the escape pod? The sensors wouldn't pick them up. The escape pod is really nice. Well, boys, it's a very lovely ship. I think you should look out. Goodbye.